Hi guys, Antoinette here. Um, thanks for joining me today. Um, if some of you were watching last week's video on learn how to draw, I was saying to uh, next time that we'd gather together to gather up some materials, but maybe some of you haven't seen that. So with this video today, I'm going to tell you what materials you need to do uh, something crafts. Um, rather than learning how to draw, we're going to make something. So you will need colours, whether they be crayons, coloured pencils or markers. We'll need an adhesive, maybe like something like a print stick or if, you've got, if you have glue that you need a brush to paint on with. Rubber, pencil, scissors as well. So they're the things we need today and also paper. Now, if you have coloured paper, that's fantastic. Um, if you have a red coloured paper, brilliant. Any other colours, even black would be great. Or a blue. And definitely white. Now, if you haven't got coloured paper, you can use a plain sheet of white and colour it in uh, with your markers or your pencils. Or if you have paints, you can colour it in. But this is what we're going to do today. We're going to make a greeting card for Father's Day because it's Father's Day on Sunday. So, this is what we need to do. We need to, first of all, I'm going to show you something with the red card um, so you can see what I've done. I've already made this up. So I've got my red card and I folded it up. I folded this card up. First, I folded it up to imagine it's all together and then I put my hand down and I traced it all around and cut it out. Make sure that you don't cut the fold. And this is what I made, a Spider-Man card. I'm going to show you how you make that on the other side. And with the white piece of paper, uh, you cut out two pieces for Spider-Man's eyes. So let's start and I'll show you um, how to draw the lines. Uh, first of all, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do uh, a Batman card and I'm going to do it with this colour, like a, a nice brown colour card. So we're going to fold it up and on the fold, you place your hand on the fold. Get your pencil and draw all the way around your card. All the way around your fingers, I should say. And there we have it. And I'm going to cut out, just like I did with the red, I'm not going to cut the fold, I'm just going to keep it like that. Now, with the scissors, you've got to be careful. So maybe get mom, dad or, or, or a helper to help you cut the card uh, with the markings that you've made with your fingers. So this is how we end up making a really cool card with your handprint on the card. And there we have it. It will open out into two hands. How cool is that? You could have it sitting like that when it's finished or like that. <laughs> or open it out a little bit and sit it like that. So I was thinking we could do uh, Batman on this one, but I'm going to first show you how uh, we get this design on the Spider-Man uh, card and how to cut out the uh, eyes and make them stand out like that. So first of all, if you want to, you can start with your pencil 
and start in the middle of the fold and draw a line down to the first roundness, uh, the edge of the finger uh, in between the finger. Just draw lines in between the fingers and then maybe draw another line from there to there and another line from there to there. Now with my black marker it's really hard to see the pencil line so I'm going to do that again. So we'll start in the middle and we'll draw a line down to the um, in between the fingers and another line down in between the next finger in between the next finger staying on the same point in between the finger and the thumb and maybe another line finishing that uh, design then we start with a round a round line in between the lines that are going down around and around so the line is 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 like it's a curvy line it's like that uh, fitting in between these lines that you've just made and you just keep going around and around in between those lines until you get to the to the end of the thumb and maybe we can fit one more in and then we go the other way so instead of going that way we'll go this way the other way around this and leaving a space in between exactly like this all the way down to the end of the thumb and then we do exactly the same with the fingers right to the edge of each finger this is spider-man's hand which is really cool and there we have it now, to make Spider-Man's eyes, all it is, is make, keep them small, don't make them big because you want to fit them there. So it's a slanted line across and then around, across and around. Now with the black marker or a black pencil or your crayons, just make that line a bit thicker. So you can see it and that it really stands out. And then again with your scissors, get somebody to help you and cut them out. Uh, to the edge of the black line, cut them out. and stick them down with either your Pritt stick or if you have uh, some glue and there you have Spider-Man and on the inside you can write your own message and there we have it a Spider-Man car. Now the eyes are a bit bigger on this side but that's okay. It still looks great like Spider-Man. The next card I wanted to show you was Batman. Now to do Batman you can use any colour you like as long as it's not black. For the hand doing the same thing cutting out all around the fingers keeping it so the fold 
uh, it stays intact you don't cut that across you just start from there all the way around and end on the other side and with a black piece of card now if you haven't got a black card, piece of card color one in color a bit in I'm going to place my hand that I've just done just underneath uh, or near the thumb edge and to the edge of my hand I hope you can see that and I'm going to pencil I'm just going to shape that around the same shape as as my hand and then I'm going to come up and I should really do this with a, a black um, because it's on 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 black I should really do this in white so you can see um, what I'm doing uh, maybe if I do it with a white crayon so um, just shape following the shape of the hand but then you when you get to the top just go up uh, on the other side up and then you're doing a triangle down and down and across and there you have Batman's head and all we have to do is cut that out really fun to do this now with the same uh, technique as and there we have it Batman Batman's head and again with um, the same shape similar shape as the spider-man eyes we can draw again um, a line down and around down and around and I'm just going to cut those out and we can stick them down as well and now they're a little bit smaller which is absolutely fine one eye <laughs> Uh, I hope you can see that. Is it in view? Yes, it is. And two eyes. There's Batman. We need to, again, take the eyes away. We need to stick him down. So it fits the hand and then stick the eyes down. That looks good. And then finish it off with maybe a little smirk. Da 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 Batman. 